So guys, today I have one of the most expensive Kia on the market right now and it's a brand new 24 Kia EV9. This car, it's a long range dual motor and it has 379 horsepower and about 300 miles range. So seven seats, huge spacious car inside and a lot of technology. We're going to go over them all and see if this car worth that $74,000 sticker price. So 20 inch rims and high profile tires going to make this car drive so smooth, especially here in Van Nuys. And on the top of that, we got this olive matte color and it looks amazing. So as soon as you're going to get the key for this EV9, you're going to see a lot of similar parts might be for the Hyundai. So basically all the buttons, they kind of looks the same and self parking option, same as on the Santa Fe. So they kind of relatives. That's why they have a lot of similar options. So this it's a EV9 full of technology, seven seats SUV, and it's a huge, spacious SUV. And it's kind of cool. Let's go inside the car and see what we got. So I want to start to check this car from the back, from the third road, and see if I got enough space to fit myself inside. Let's go. The, let's go on the back. And... Uh, <laughs> you know what? I would say it's not bad at all for the third row seat. So that's that's my position on the back. I wouldn't say it's huge space for me, but it's definitely enough space to fit two people on the back. So let's go on the second row and we are getting captain chairs as a second row, not the bench. And like I said, it's all about technology and options. Look, I have a cooled heated seats for the second row. BMW, Mercedes, pay attention on the US market. It's not the same anymore. Korean guys, they doing something different right now. So as a second row seat, what I got here, I actually can charge my phone. I can use the climate control. There is a huge sunroof right there. And also, I can do this. So if I need more space on this seat, I can move the front seat all the way down. So I'm going to have more room for my legs. So as you all probably know, there is a new generation game going about the car industry. And uh, it's all about technology. It's all about design. It's all about eco material and electricity. So I think the Korean cars like Kia, Hyundai, they doing their best to attract more, more and more customers nowadays. So there is a huge iPad sitting right on the dashboard. You can tell it looks great. There is a tons of options like line keeper, distant, control and on and on and on 360 camera cameras like everywhere even the rear view mirror right now it's a camera you can play with that as a camera or as a regular mirror that's cool so basically all the cars they turn into the good sony playstation and to be honest with you i kind of like those materials they use for this car look at this headliner and it's kind of reminded me cars from 90s do you remember that Japanese seats on the 90s cars that's kind of the same it's just something different so it's all about details look at these headrests can you see that it's not the piece of leather or like cloth material it is a mesh so even though we have a panoramic roof but we can actually open only the front glass that's it so that's a brand new car it's still full of stickers and it's all-wheel drive. We have even four-wheel drive lock. So basically we can lock the central differential. It might gonna help you to do some heavy or light off-road. So it probably took them over the year, maybe even more, to figure out how this screen gonna be set. And probably it's gonna take maybe several days for me if I'm gonna keep it and drive it to figure out how 
it's better gonna work for me how I can go to this or that menu set right away because right now honestly I'm getting lost there is a general there is a lot of uh, settings you have to go through there is a map option and uh, who's using navigation in their cars if you're still using just type it below what kind of car you drive and and if your navigation it's really useful so at this time right now there is nothing I can compare to EV SUV maybe the Tesla X other than that not so many I would say none of the electric cars been on the market for such a long period of time as a Tesla so we'll see how this car is gonna be in the next three five years probably it's gonna be more affordable so that time I might gonna buy one to try but for now 75,000 for me I would say it's kind of expensive but again this one long range all-wheel drive 99 kilowatt battery and 300 miles range if you don't need this car just get the one is a 75 I think 70 uh, kilowatt battery and 43,000 MSRP so that car might gonna work much better for you than this so the main orientation for this huge EV SUV that's the family you're right that's why we have a seven seats and we have a lot of different pockets a lot of different uh boxes and look the way glove box is opening right now it's just simply cool you might say it's not a big difference but i'm telling you it is a big difference so any heavy stuff you're gonna put on the glove box you're gonna close it easily much easier than before and look at these pockets there is a space right there there's a cup holders so there's a quite interesting option I just found and if you guys know what it is for how I can live with that how you're gonna live with that let me know please in the comments below looks like it's preparing you to take a nap or maybe to watch some movies and that's it so what kind of option is that what are i supposed to do here just sleep and take my nap time or what is that so my thought about electric cars if you have a similar thought just let me know in the comments below if you're going to compare tesla new one three y x doesn't matter that car is built so simple the main point about the tesla it is a software but this car it's more driver passenger orientated it has a lot of different things and buttons like the cooled rear seats is it your Tesla has rear cooled seats I don't think so there are a lot of pockets a lot of charger options even this charger for your drill or whatever you're doing with power tools you can use this car as a power outlet and I'm going to show it to you how look at this cool option on this EV9 you have a power tools you want to use it but you don't have a power outlet right so you can use this and i'm going to show it to you what you can do with that let's go so you still have your power tools with you right so now we are going to plug it into the charging port open that and plug your power tool right there so 43,000 from the beginning all the way to long range 75,000 msrp the choice is yours.